Hello there, Leo singles, and welcome to your uh, first half of April 2019 reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. Hope everything is well with you guys. Um, I'm hoping you're having a wonderful April Fool's Day. Um, but let's get right into it. Okay, you may not be watching this on April Fool's Day, but anyway, it's made on April Fool's Day. But the message is genuinely for you. All jokes aside, let's get into it. Okay, let's see. Leo. Leo. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Cross watchers as well. Um, I want you guys to keep in mind, when you're listening to this video, keep in mind that this is a general message. And there may be certain parts of this video that may resonate with you. And there may obviously be parts... There may obviously be parts of this reading that do not resonate with you. Take what resonates with you and discard the rest. Um, the rest of it could definitely be part of someone else's story. And if you find that you need more information, you can check the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And of course, some of this energy can be interchangeable. It could, be, it could go vice versa. If you'd like to book a personal reading, as these are only general, you can go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. Not my email, okay? Go to directly to the website to book your reading. Again, it's angelicascensionstarot.com. The link is below in the description box. Let's get right into it. Leo, Leo, you might be letting your mind get the best of you. Spirit is saying take some time to calm down, think things through. Don't allow negative thoughts to run rampant in your head because that could be something that's, that's going on. It looks like um, for the remainder of April, I, won't even, I don't even want to put a time stamp on it, but I want to say that especially this month, it's going to be important for you to get grounded and get centered. Now, some of you could be meditating. Some of you may definitely benefit from getting near some water, getting near the ocean to recharge, maybe even taking a spiritual bath in the ocean. Hmm. But yeah, getting grounded is going to be very important. I feel like there was a situation here where um, you're retreating, you're pulling away from someone or something. Okay. But again, don't allow fear to get the best of you. Now, there could be a fire sign involved. This could be your own energy. Maybe you're dealing with another Leo, Sag, or Aries. I'm also seeing Earth, specifically Virgo. But of course, it could be Taurus or Capricorn. Um, I'm seeing fertility. So this could be a very fertile time for you, Leo. Some of you could be finding out about pregnancy, going to a baby shower. There could be birth announcements around you. I'm also seeing air, the element of air. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be um, a part of this person's chart. I'm also seeing combination of earth and water. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But like I said, specifically Virgo for earth is what I'm seeing so far. There may be a new person entering your life, Leo, after a period of healing. Yeah, some of you are either in school, entertaining the idea of going back to school. Um, I'm seeing raise or promotion or being held in high esteem. Yeah, a relationship begins a new phase. Whether this is a relationship with someone from the past, a rekindling of a relationship, or like I said, for some of you Leos, you walked away. Someone walked away to explore their options, and I feel like someone new may, may be coming in for you. But let me repeat myself. There could be someone coming back into your life as well, which could throw you off. But there might be some fears that are holding you back from moving forward, whether this is, you know, your love life or just, you know, the way that you're thinking right now. In other words, like I said, don't allow fear to rule you. I'm seeing skilled work is rewarded. Like I said, Raise, promotion, learning all that there is to know about a project or a topic. Okay, so you could be sharpening your skills somehow. 
I'm saying this is a time of quiet meditation. This is, yeah, definitely benefiting from that. Spiritual teaching could be going on. Some of you could be becoming spiritual teachers, but definitely I'm seeing self-discovery. I also see uh, memories from childhood. Memories of childhood may be cropping up. Um, mm, and there could be a lot of sadness surrounding this, or it, it doesn't even have to be from childhood. It could be from the past, okay? Maybe you find yourself thinking a lot about the past. But whatever this is, it's like going forward, there's going to be a need for you to believe in yourself. But yeah, I do feel like there's a lot of sadness that you might be going through, Leo. And yeah, I'm seeing, yeah, there's a need to take some time to heal. And there's a need to forgive other people. Because maybe there was an opportunity that you feel was missed, whether this was work-related, however it relates to your situation. Yeah, but there could be this sense of just unhappiness and boredom when it comes to your job. Spirit says open your eyes to the possibilities. There may be new opportunities that are coming in that you may not even see or be aware of. So you've got third eye chakra. So yeah, opening that third eye, being aware. So yeah, some of you are definitely going through some type of spiritual transformation. Realizing that you are the alchemist, right? That you can control certain things in your life um, I'm seeing a lot of sorrow sadness I'm also seeing the need to hydrate for some of you Leo's getting plenty of rest getting plenty of water taking good care of yourself now Leo matters of the heart are definitely prevalent in your reading someone who is the center of your world but the overall energy of your reading is respect. So maybe you didn't feel that you got the respect that you deserved. Maybe that's why you stepped away from a love relationship. Maybe that's on the job that you're not feeling like you're getting the respect that you deserve. Maybe that's why you're considering walking away to explore your options and seeing what else is out there. Maybe even partnering with a friend on a project now, with love, I can see that you're saddened over a loss, over the emotional loss of a relationship. And maybe your mind is getting the best of you. Maybe you're thinking that there is no one coming in or that there is no one better after this person. Maybe you've been waiting patiently for love to come in and you've not been seeing the result that you've been wanting. I feel like you had a very strong friendship with this person. And I feel like you, you felt that there was so much promise for this relationship to progress and go somewhere and build. But what ended up happening was things happened here that you didn't expect. And what happened here may have caused some insecurities. You felt like you were mistreated by this person that maybe they took your kindness for weakness and maybe you feel that they didn't quite see your value. You didn't feel like you were getting what it is that you were giving, that, that your feelings or your effort was being reciprocated. And perhaps this person left you for someone else. <sighs> maybe that's where this pregnancy comes into play. Maybe that's why you're saddened by something. Maybe you found out that the love of your life had gotten someone pregnant. Or maybe someone walked away from you and you found out about a pregnancy. Now you're stressed out. Or someone could be burdened about a pregnancy. Perhaps you already have a child with this person or you had a dream to may have a family with, with them. See, this person was all about having fun, fun and games. But that's not where you were. That's not the page you were on. You wanted something solid and something for a lifetime. But things came to an end. And maybe you're dealing with someone who's very stubborn and very rigid. Someone that's very set in their ways. I feel like... Something here may turn around. Something here comes full circle. 
So there could, like I said, be someone returning or like I said, maybe you're walking away from this. For some of you, that completely walking away from this. Like I said, two storylines here. Because you're unhappy. You're feeling unfulfilled. And you really don't know where you stand at this moment. You're not even sure how this person feels about you at this time. Okay, Because maybe they're, they're very guarded. Maybe they kind of keep their feelings to themselves. And yeah, things fell apart. Maybe you told this person to leave your house. Because I'm seeing either the loss of a house or someone left because of someone being very flirtatious someone entertaining other relationships and it was only a matter of time before the tower brought that down and things were revealed so maybe you feel like you're not ready to open up and give these emotions to someone at this time but I do sense someone returning Maybe you turned down their offer in the past because you were you you hadn't quite gotten over all of this pain and disappointment that you've been through. You haven't healed. Like I said, you weren't on the same page. They they wanted fun and games. They wanted to come and go as they please. They liked bachelor bachelorette hood, and you wanted marriage, strong foundation. And they weren't able to give that to you. So there was this tug of war, this push and pull. Until you decided to just let this go because it was just too, too much to bear. And now maybe you're waiting for a new love. Or maybe you're waiting for this person to return in particular. This person that was deceptive. That crept around with other people. This person that you felt wasted your time. Maybe at one point, or maybe you're coming to terms with it right now. Maybe you just don't see a future here. So I feel like there's a lot of back and forth thinking. You want this person back, but at the same time, you, you're, you're using logic and saying, you know what, does this really make sense for me to want this person back? Because that respect level, remember, that's the overall energy of your reading, respect. You feel like respect was not given. You feel maybe that this person did not deserve your respect. So maybe you blocked them. Maybe they blocked you and you got tired of this person being in and out of your life. So now you're left in suspense. You're not sure what's going on. So the only way that you can kind of figure it out is to kind of check out their social media page or ask about them if you have mutual friends. So yeah, that's why the tower hit because it was necessary for you to take a break from all of this. This just became too much. And you're like, how many times can this person stab me in the back? That type of thing. Okay. Yeah, part of you wants to work on this. Leo, I almost called you guys sad. So I feel like there is a Sagittarius somewhere around here in the picture for, just for you. Yeah, see, that's why. You are romanticizing the past. You do miss this person. Possibly an Aquarius, someone with Aquarius in their chart. Maybe this person is being very cold and distant from you right now. And see, part of you wants to move on, but part of you just can't stop thinking about this person and wondering what would happen if you open up to them again and give them another chance. Because part of you is hopeful that this can work out. Then part of you feels like the same cycle will just repeat itself. Like history will repeat itself. And... Um, this person can be a bit disrespectful at times. There was definitely, yeah, we were talking about respect, right? So here it comes again. Some of you were dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus. Yeah, you blocked this person or maybe they blocked you for spying. You felt like this person deceived you. Right, that there was this promise of something beautiful that was going to happen, but a lot of promises were broken. Or maybe this was like um, a friendship type of relationship, you know, and maybe the two of you were living as roommates, right? Rather than as a real couple, you wanted something stable. You wanted this person to commit to you, but there was never really a title. And maybe this person left you abruptly 
Maybe they ghosted you in some way. But I feel like you saw the writing on the wall because this person's demeanor had changed. They were pulling away from you. So maybe in turn you did the same thing. And maybe you feel like that was the right thing for you to do. Or maybe you're second guessing. You want to work this out. And you're thinking about marriage. But keep in mind, like I said, there are two storylines here. Some of you want to rekindle this relationship or you're considering it. You're tossing the idea back and forth in your head. Others of you are letting this go and waiting for something new to come in. Taking some time to heal. And you're, you're thinking logically rather than with your heart. Some of you are ready to begin again and see what else is out there. Right. But I feel like for most of you, this is you feeling unhappy, missing this person, wondering if you should put your heart on the line once again to see if you can work it out this time. See if the two of you can get past the point of where you were. Okay. Maybe you've been very, you've been patiently waiting for this person. And in the meantime, you've decided to just focus on yourself and love yourself, but you can't erase those memories. Yeah, there was someone that came in between the two of you for sure. So let's see here. So Leo, I feel like with work, some of you could be going back to an old job Yeah, maybe you're severing the ties. No, you're walking away to explore your options. You want to see what else is out there. So you're severing the ties. Okay, you, maybe you had some conflict on the job. So you might be traveling. This new job might entail you to travel. I didn't mention that there's an Aries in the picture, did I? Yeah, someone's stealing your ideas. Stealing your work. Trying to take credit for your work. Trying to steal your thunder. So yeah, there could be new offers on the table, new contracts. And maybe something ended abruptly on the job. Maybe you were betrayed by someone on the job or betrayed by a friend, someone that you had considered a friend. Maybe you work with this person and they betrayed you somehow. If you found out they were married Maybe you found out that this person had gotten someone pregnant. But yeah, there is this sense of betrayal that happened on the job. So it looks like you want to get away from all the static. Right? I do see you separating from this employer and moving on. And maybe building your own empire. Going into business for yourself. But there's a lot of fear surrounding this. So that's why Spirit is saying get it grounded. You're making decisions that are life-changing here with the tower. Life-changing decisions. <sighs> but in the end, Six of Wands, you come out victorious. But maybe you're worried that you're going to fall flat on your face. So you could be going into business with a friend. Okay, but yeah, you're feeling stuck, right? Because you're not sure what to do. Your mind is telling you one thing and your fears are telling you another. And your fears come from your mind. But you, you see what I'm saying? The truth is there, but it's like you're choosing to believe what's not true. Your fears are nothing but false expectations appearing real. Take a look at the first word of the, the acronym FEAR, FALSE. It's not true. There's a falsehood to it. It's only a belief, and we have the ability to change our beliefs. Sometimes we're conditioned to believe certain things, but, you know, sometimes it's time to adopt a new way of thinking. 
ready to subscribe to a new way of thinking here and go after your dreams. But it may take you getting to a place of emotional withdrawal, pulling away from other people to really get centered, as I stated. Meditate, pray, to get your energy right, to get yourself back on balance, or back in balance, rather, so that you can, you can conquer those fears. And you don't allow those fears to take your breath away. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. And see, Spirit says your answers are within. The answers that you seek, maybe you're, you're looking outside of yourself. Spirit is saying, why? The answers are within. And you're ready. So why not take that leap of faith? Yeah, see that some of you feel lost, uncertain. Your spirit guides are speaking directly to you, of course, but you won't hear them because you're trapped in fear. Yeah, see that you're worried about finances. That's why it's time to meditate. <sighs> to get that clarity that you're looking for. Deadlines, pressure. I feel like someone's putting a lot of pressure, a lot of demands on you at work. And you feel like something's got to give. So yeah, you're... Some of you are using um, spell work to get or, excuse me, what it, where it is that you want. Because you're just, like I said, unhappy with the way that things have been going. And um, you're ready to get off this roller coaster, this hamster wheel. Let's see. Let's take a look at how um, cross watchers may be feeling at this time. Keep in mind, this is general. And if you want something based on your own personal energy... Um, feel free to book a personal reading again at angelicascensionstarot.com. Discernment. You got to discern the real from the fake. Discernment comes up very heavily in your reading. How are you going to discern? By being centered, by being grounded, and listening within. within. Yes, yes, for sure. New love is coming in for some of you. Or you're finding your new love when it comes to something that you're passionate about. Leo, you're ready. All right, so yeah, you're taking leadership. Some of you are definitely going into maybe the interview process, interviewing people. But yeah, you're starting that new project or that new idea. Okay, cross watcher. Your cross watcher is even either waiting for an apology or they may have an apology to give you. They're thinking about you just as much as you think about them, but they're all so afraid. And there's this fear of the unknown. They want to link up with you again because there's definitely this strong attraction, this bond that's undeniable, and they want to clear the air with you about the past and about the way that, that things ended. The things that they did in the relationship that they're not happy about. They didn't necessarily want there to be a separation. They just wanted to be happy with you. They wanted things to be consistent and stable. And maybe there were issues here surrounding finances and money, okay, that could have been causing problems between the two of you besides the third party situation that could have been going on. That may not have been the case for everyone, but for some of you, there were three people involved. This person doesn't have the courage to reach out to you, or they don't know if they can face this right now. They don't, okay, because they don't know if they can trust you again and fully open up because of the infidelity from the past, the flirtation with other people, the lies, the deception. Maybe they found a text message from someone else and now they're resentful or they found something online that was that proved what it was that they were wondering about, that they were suspecting. So they pulled away. Both of you pulled away emotionally. They want to work on it. They're considering maybe investing in this relationship again. Some of them could be um, at work finishing up a project. Maybe that's now what they're focused on. 
Now, there could have been a pretty intense heated exchange between the both of you that could have happened online or happened um, via phone that's leaving them divided. They're not sure like, one way or another if they want to go back into this, but they do miss you. But they're tired of being emotionally drained, and yeah, they are waiting for your apology. They're waiting for you to reach out and show your feelings. I feel like you play your cards too close to your chest. They want to know how you feel. They want you to be vulnerable for a change. I'm not so stubborn, not so rigid. They haven't healed still from this heartache with this Three of Swords. They still feel the, the, the pain. And maybe they wonder if you regret, if you have any type of regret or remorse about the past. Will, you, will they hear from you again? Will you reach out to apologize, that type of thing? But they don't trust you. They want this connection again. They want to reunite with you. There is a soul tie here. They're tired of fighting. And they don't want to show you their emotions, just like you don't want to show them their, show you theirs. So you guys just stay in this stuck pattern where things don't move forward and it just leaves you wondering what's going to happen next. Are you guys going to make up or are you, are you not? You just stay in this gray area. You're wondering, should you reach out? And that's what that meditation is about. Your spirit guides are trying to speak out to you. They're telling you what to do, but you may not be able to hear them because those fear-based thoughts are speaking louder. Now, some of you could be dealing with someone who has issues here with addictions to alcohol, drugs, or maybe someone's addicted to work. Maybe someone is very controlling, or maybe one of you sees the other one as being controlling. I do feel like someone is coming toward you, they at least want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But yeah, maybe they are busy working because finances and career could get in the way right now. Yeah, and for some of you, like I said, this you've known each other before. This is not someone new. This is a rekindling of someone from the past that you had a really good time with. But there were trust issues that got in the way due to someone's flirtation. Someone taking things beyond the limit and violating that respect, violating those boundaries. But you still find yourself in this place of waiting for them. Maybe you're trying to heal family issues because maybe there's a pregnancy. Perhaps. You realize that this is your soulmate. So maybe you're waiting for divine timing. Or maybe you just feel that you need some more time to heal before you allow yourself to open up to this person again. So let's see. Holy Spirit, what is the advice here for the Leo single sun moon rising in Venus? The advice from the spirit for Leo. Sun moon rising in Venus, Leo. Leo singles. Surrender resentment and surrender stress. All right. And then surrender to effortless. It says stop. Surrender to effortlessness. So stop trying so hard. The art of living means going with the flow in instead of trying to force the river. So Spirit is saying, let go. Let everything happen here according to divine timing. Let go of surrender. Surrender any resentments. Because it says holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. Now sometimes when we don't forgive people. Now forgiveness is for yourself. It's not necessarily for the other person. And how I, how I saw this visually is like you with your hand around this person's neck, forcing them under the water, forcing their face under the water, saying, I'll never forgive you. I'll never forgive you for what you did. 
but you looking at that person's face and seeing that it's your own face. It's you holding yourself underwater. You, it's like you're preventing yourself from healing, if that makes sense. So it's like time to release that and let it go. Forgiveness does not mean that you condone what the person did. It just means that you let go and you stop letting that poison pulsate through your body. Then you have surrendered stress. It says take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Again, talking about meditation, getting centered, thinking clearly, not operating purely on emotion or fear. So that's what I see for you Leos for the first half of April 2019. Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can go to angelicascensionstarot.com. Um, the quickest way to get a reading from me is to book a phone reading. Where What happens with a phone reading is you and I talk one-on-one -on -one about your situation while we do your reading. Um, you can also book an emergency reading if you're, because trust, uh, if you're going to book a pre-recorded reading, there is already a line formed and there's already a line ahead of you when you jump in line. So if you need something quicker, please book a phone reading or an emergency reading. I'm here for you. If you like, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I hope that it helped. Don't forget to subscribe. If you already haven't, consider doing so. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care and bye for now.